all right and welcome back everyone i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving i most certainly had the best thanksgiving ever i tried a bunch of stuff whether it be uh the stuffings turkey ham what have you but i'm blessed and another thing i would say thank you all for supporting my channels especially after a three-year layoff uh, I would say the channels are doing very good and continued success um, just in general but today we have a lot to talk about a lot of things happening a lot of articles so let's start out with Patty Pimlet so apparently he doesn't buy into Jake Paul's boxing boxing success after watching recent footage of um, Jake Paul boxing and Anderson uh, Silva and uh, and to be real in my opinion I think Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva was real but really the f the fights with him and Tywin Woodley I personally think wasn't real but this is what Patty said when he was uh, on pub talk they are a gang of idiots I give Jake Paul his due now he's training that much he's pro he probably could beat some professional boxers he got unlimited funds and he hasn't got to do anything else. He hasn't got to go and do a job at all. He's got, all he's got to do is box. And he, he gets the best coaches in, the best nutritionists and stuff like that. Hmm. And then he, he goes on and comments, I don't think the Tyron Woodley knockout was fixed because when you get knocked out like that and you land your first you, and you land face first if you're not unconscious you're going to put arms out you can't help it that's a human reaction but I seen an angle of, of a punch he hit Anderson Silva with the other day when he sat down and he didn't even hit him now he speaks on potential fight against Logan Paul and he states it's an easy payday. I don't want to box any of them. I don't care about them. He does go on to say, I do this properly and professionally against some of the best fighters in the world, but any of them want to pay me millions of pounds to beat them up, I'll do it. So, in my opinion, I do think that the if, if Patty were to fight the Paul brothers it would tarnish his reputation or his professional you know combat sports reputation I think he's on the right path as far as staying with the UFC or going through that route instead of messing around with the Paul brothers I think that's definitely the best option for his career right now especially coming in the game um, as strong as he has um, and I, I think if he keeps going he'll he'll be a very very successful fighter one day potentially on Conor, Conor McGregor's level the next article or not the next article um, Jake Paul does respond to Patty on let me see this might be Twitter. Yes, yeah, Twitter. And he says, Dear Patty, you claim my fighters are rigged. Stop calling the GOAT Anderson Silva a criminal, a criminal and come spar me. You win. I give you one million. I win. You join the UFA. But I'm with, I'm with Patty. I wouldn't fall into Jake Paul's trap of, you know, fighting him. Because I just feel it would 
ruin his reputation if he doesn't win. So, yeah.